Hi everyone, PJ, how are you this morning? Well, it's morning, oh, just gone 12 o'clock on the 12th. For me, how are you doing? I hope that you're well. I am about to um, support you with a um, wonderful exposure on all of the gift giving. Now, there's just certain things that will cost money and there's other ideas I have that are probably going to help you help and support you um, through sort of the craziest time of the year. Um, it's big for a lot of people. I realise I've got um, quite a few people in my team who actually don't support Christmas. But even for you, if um, you've got loved ones that do um, and you need to show up with something, then I'm hoping that I have something really beautiful for you. So this is really cool. It's great to have um, everyone here. Um, I'm getting used to doing the light, the light fandango across the various different platforms. And if you are somebody who um, is from the US, you're really going to love this because this is all about holiday gift giving ideas in the US market. I've been slightly neglectful, not by intention. <laughs> there has just been a whole lot going on in the Australian market, so I'm terribly sorry about that. Now, let's have a look. If you are somebody who's keen to perhaps um, uh, make the most of what's going on for you, perhaps you're somebody who um, loves to give conscious, conscious gifts, you like to know that, for instance, here's a perfect example. I have these and I have quite a few of them. Although they're extremely pretty, they're not my favourite item. Why? Because I know that they're mass produced and they're made from a synthetic fabric. And although they look great when I pop a little gift in them, um, there's just something about that that doesn't light my heart where... If I use something that is repurposed, um, that is um, easy on the planet and that is easy on um, the environment overall and it has come to me wrapping from something or maybe um, that has been included in something, and I'm going to give you an example of that. It's just here. I it's just packaging, but it lights my heart because I know that that has been produced with a purposeful intention. Hey, Gypsy, good to see you. So this stuff, I keep it. Why do I keep it? Because I want to put my heart and soul into my gift giving. So this is what I call a conscious Christmas. And if you're in my team, we're going to be, that's going to be the theme of um, a lot of stuff that I'm doing in the weeks, days, and months ahead. So let's have a look here. Um, for instance, I might have a little um, gift. I have so many ones here. I don't know what's going on. All right, I have a little gift of, say, citrus bloom, and I will wrap this. in a very creative way, I'll leave, I'll leave that out. And I will twist that a bit. And then I'll put a little um, around the neck will be some twine. Hey, good to see you. And a little, a little um, sprig of um, rosemary or um, dried flower, something that's very me and a little gift tag. That lights my heart. <laughs> There's just something about this. So don't throw away your packaging. And I know US and Canada, you, you guys are still using the packaged air from what I could see the other day, which is the stuff that's plastic. Now, this drives my husband crazy <laughs> because, well, I don't want to throw it away. I know that I can use it. I can re-gift it. I love it. You can give it to kids. Give it to your local charity to, or to your local kindergarten who will love this stuff and the kids can make patterns out of it and paint on it and 
put glitter over it and turn it into paper mache because it's it's really malleable. So it inspires me. And when I see just this kind of thing, oh, my God, my heart sinks because we know what goes into this kind of packaging. Sometimes it can't be avoidable, but I'm kind of not being a hypocrite here. Naturally, we have plastic in the house, but we eliminate as much as we can. Why do, why do we care? Well, the reason we care is because we want to be able to gift in a way that's in line with our integrity. It doesn't actually matter what goes into the gift either. So if you're looking at a Christmas that is looking a little scary, and I know there's a lot of people feeling that way at the moment, and you're at least using, this is this brown paper stuff, which I also, I really love it. Um, because it's got perforations. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I'll be doing this on... Um, I'm getting used to all of the different platforms. I'm just finding games. Okay, so we're going to put that here. Somebody's gone to the trouble to cut that. They didn't even need to... They didn't need to bother with cutting it, but anyway... That's obviously the person that packaged it. Just say with my little blend that I made yesterday, this is rose gold. It's so cute. A little rose gold. I got that from Vitalia. She sells beautiful things over there. And I'm going to double it because it looks a little, double it because it looks a little, um, it's too thin. And then I'm simply just going to put that in here and I'm going to roll it. And then I've got my gift paper. I don't need to go to the shops and get all the stupid gift wrapping, which is all, which always breaks, always, always runs out on the 23rd. <laughs> and then you can't get the matching because I do the, I like to do the matching. I can do the matching with the brown paper because it just all matches. And then you put this, use kitchen twine, not Christmas stuff. Okay. And then if you're not really a believer in Christmas, then it's just beautiful gifts from the heart. And there we go. And how cute does that look? Obviously, um, a wrapping and a little bit of a dried flower. And we're good to go. And that is a really beautiful heartfelt gift. It's from my heart. And I know that people would look at that. Trudy says, so beautiful. It's beautiful because I'm creating it as I go and I'm putting myself into it and I'm sharing and I'm loving it. Okay. That little bottle cost, I don't know, can't remember, nothing, not much. And I'm using my own oils to create blends to gift to others, okay? You don't have, I, I, just, I just really want to iterate that, especially for the new people that have come into doTERRA and you're seeing all the things and all the bells and the whistles. And probably the first thing you're feeling is inadequacy because it's like, oh, my God, I can't afford I just spent $180 on and I can't afford to do. Yes, you can. Okay. You would have got packaging <laughs> and you would have got oils and you just need to twist it and shift it and think of it in a slightly different way. Doterra, do not expect us to go all out and just buy up big and have buyer's remorse. But I also have a solution for the people that love what they do and are very, um, loving and that can't resist the beautiful products the products are beautiful and they're made of integrity and heart as much as possible they're made on the um they're made in the country and there are components that they need to ship in so know that they're very very conscious and uh i guess from a they've gone in the time that i've been with them in seven years they've gone from like a mm, six out of 10, to with the wellness advocate support. So we give them loads of feedback and we say, no, this needs to be biodegradable and this needs to be um, this needs to be um, printed with a special vegetable ink and this needs, not saying that it is, but I'm just giving you an example. Um, I don't know the, the background behind that, but everything needs to, you know, it needs to be done properly. And doTERRA, can you make sure that you don't put any more plastic in there that you really need to? And, and they really listen. They, um, they're, they're fantastic. In the year that I've been, they're a bit addicted to, um, even in the beginning, they were a bit addicted to, um, thanks, babe, 
to a sticky tape. They were going berserk of sticky tape. And we said, no, no need for the sticky tape, just one little thing. We don't need to have the whole thing wrapped. So these pieces as well, you may have ideas for these pieces. Um, they make great templates for cards or for place mats. You might be able to bend this and have fun with it, just sit with it one day and see what you can do. What, what kind of shape can you make out of it? And could this make a lovely um, stand for a bottle? Maybe, I don't know, just sit and play with it. Everything has a use. And um, when we look at that and we're doing this consciously, we inspire others to think and feel the same. And that's how we change the planet, okay? That's what the really cool thing is. So getting with it, I keep the boxes. I rip the um, postage, the very rude, dangerous goods declaration off it. And it normally takes off all the branding with it, which is fine. And then if you want, you can, let me show you something. You can turn the, every box is a template. So you just turn the template inside out. Don't throw any boxes. And then when you turn the template inside out, it's a lovely plain box and you can just wrap it with your twine and your natural, you know, twig, a sprig of something, and ta-da. So that I've just saved you around $30 on wrapping right there. <laughs> All right, so, and you need to think the same. You need to think, how can I use, what can I repurpose? Because we're coming into very interesting times in the world and we don't want to be in a situation where we're spending money unnecessarily. All right, now, what am I going to go to now? I'm going to go to the holiday website. The reason I want to show this is because all of my US and Canada peeps have been a little bit neglected lately, so I'm sorry about that. And for those of you who are um, in Australia, you actually can access the website. I share the screen. You will be able to see all the beautiful things. Now, you should spend time on the site at least once a month. It's very dynamic and it's not a static site. Obviously, you know, you can see that it's not static, but um, it changes and shifts and they move up with their offering. For instance, the On Guard um, Plus and the On Guard Hand Wipes are now part of the On Guard range. The On Guard range is very critical for right now. If you know much about On Guard, you know that it's amazing for protection and to ward off pathogens. We have our laundry detergent and we have our toothpaste. On Guard Plus, you should be taking American and New Zealand um, and Canada um, residents. You absolutely need to be taking On Guard Plus every single day with the On Guard um, chewable tablet. If you take just those two things and do nothing else, you will easily move through these winter months, which are meant to be quite intense, but they do say that every year. We've got the little hand wipes that are um, convenient for a desk or a drawer, and we've got the larger hand wipes, which are sort of a go-to. They're a big sheet of paper as well, all biodegradable, all um, made with um, special plastic. They have to consider a lot of things. They have to consider... How is essential oil going to go in the plastic? And is the plastic the right plastic? Is it biodegradable? Often essential oil eats plastic. They've had all of this pain to work through like no other company because they're the purest essential oils in the world and they actually naturally go through petrochemicals. That's and plastic is made of petrochemicals. So we don't get to see that pain, but those are the pains that they have. Moving right along, we have this incredible abode line if you haven't got your abode line yet i can say to you hand on heart this is a game changer this is a game changer for the environment it's a game changer for your home i absolutely it's the exact same tap this is hilarious all of their um it looks like my kitchen and um i am absolutely loving having abode in my home it's really changed up the energy 
All right, so where do we go after that? Let's have a little quick look. We know if you ever want to know what an essential oil is, just head up to the mothership, as I call it. But today we're going to be having a look at the holiday offers. Now, I am not on the leader list, but I have an account manager in Utah, and she comes back to me and tells me what's going on. If you want these doTERRA chocolate mini bars, act now <laughs> or forever be upset. They are just about gone. Okay, so that's the first thing. And the other thing was the mist. The mist? No, this. Oh, it's already gone. Okay, so that's the Midnight Forest body wash and aftershave. Now you're thinking, well, I don't know if my man's really going to go for that. Buy them for you. Buy them for you. <laughs> All right, body wash. Um, okay. I was very unwell having caught the spike protein in June or July, okay, and many of you know the story. I was incredibly sick. I was struggling and thought I was going to have to go to hospital, which I did not want to go to, and, but I, I've had pneumonia and pleurisy. I, I know when I need to go, and I'm thinking something, this is not good. And suddenly a voice, would have been God, came in and said, you need warmth. And I went, oh, because I had been using the things, breathe and peppermint and eucalyptus cool, okay, which is fine if you have a fever. It's not fine if you can't breathe and you have this thing. So I went straight for wintergreen because I was in uh, inordinate amounts of pain and my body calmed down straight away. I went to cedar wood. That helped everything. One drop helped everything straight up. And then a knock at the door, biblical, and in comes my Midnight Forest, which I'd ordered from the US months, weeks before, okay? And I was in all kinds of um, trouble um, and it stopped me having to go the loose so often with the diarrhoea, Midnight Forest on the belly. So think about that. Think about you going, well, I haven't got that. But Midnight Forest would be very good to condition um, and support and repel anything that might be in your vicinity. So you need this. The aftershave, maybe he'll use it, maybe he won't. Use it for your legs, your arms, your underpits, nether regions and so forth. Midnight Forest is a beautiful, it's, it's, a, it's unisex. You, you don't have to worry about it being for demand. You can get it yourself. All right, so the Midnight Forest Body Wash comes back on its own. Aftershave's gone, I think. Oh, no, I see. So it comes together at $28.50, um, available December 1st. You can start buying the body wash separately to the Midnight After Forest. Now, let me just tell you something, the Midnight Forest Aftershave. Let me just explain something. I get visibility and I know how to explain this to you fortunately, because they're such an amazing company to support everybody. Um, I don't get 100% visibility. So sometimes I get surprised as much as you get surprised because I didn't even know that was going to happen. And here we are. And I find that a lot when I come up to either website, Australia or sometimes Europe and UK uh, and, um, and US and Canada. So I might run it around like a chook with a head cut off if it looks untidy, you should be in my head. All right, the Acacia storage case. I am very excited about this Acacia storage case. It's the first time they've done something that isn't the pine. That sounds snobby, but the pine, it's very Nordic, I know, um, and it's got that sort of haagen feel and the whole lot. Acacia excites me. This, this is a beautiful, beautiful box. You stack your goods in here, and I know doTERRA, <laughs> the boxes are stackable, so you might end up with 60 oils that you need to um, hide nicely. You might end up with 90 oils, or you might be looking at, say, 120 oils, which we have about 120, 130. So smart people will buy many because, look, it's $27.50. How? I can't buy a box here 
for under $100. Um, and this is real wood, not, not pine, not reconstituted. A lot of the time it's reconstituted as well. Um, get it. That's all I'm going to say. That I've never seen so something so beautiful. It's one of a kind. It's a natural wood grain. And the acacia tree, let's look at this here. This is, this is how I spend my world. Acacia tree meaning. Okay, this is what the acacia tree looks like. You probably you probably got them. They're the ones that throw all the pollen everywhere. What does it symbolize? Symbolize. I know Emily, and I know how she thinks. It's a symbol of regeneration, of perseverance, of integrity. And if this box doesn't speak at that level to you, then I would be extremely surprised. Okay, really, really beautiful. Um, so this, <laughs> I just saw a word that starts with F. Let's not worry about it. Let's go to the Bible. Acacia trees were used as raw materials for the construction of the tabernacle, which is very interesting. This is why I'm drawn to it. See, this is part of the Exodus. This is where the Shekinah rises, not spoken about in the Bible, but you see the, the, the glory, the Shekinah glory. This is where um, it looks like smoke by day and fire by night. And this is where they all um, worked across to the Sinai. And this is the same part of the Bible where God says, I want you to make a sanctuary. And the, he gives the description for the construction of the tabernacle that they, he wants them to build, and it's made of acacia, which is very, very, very cool. So there we go. I love that. I love um, how beautifully crafted and styled it is as well. I think it's a really great thing, and when they offer it, very rarely do they bring it back. That's why we're all frothing at the mouth over these things. We had the beard oils, which is so cute. They have really cute little dispensers that you can use. You can also make your own. So if you're feeling, oh, I don't know if I can do 1750 PJ, well, just add maybe 10 to 12 drops in a um, in a, a fractionated coconut. Actually, no. If I had that much, I would probably put in about 30 to 40 drops, which is a lot in that size container and the smaller the container you go, the less you need. And that can act as the beard oil. This will be limited edition. Carrot seed body butter. Yay, I have a latex allergy. I was 53 years old when I determined that latex is made from shea butter, which is why when I smell some of the products, oh, can't deal. And I've always thrown them away thinking that there's a product in there and it's turned perished no it's the shea it's how shea butter smells now a little bit like blue tansy you love it or you hate it i can't deal with the shea. i love the idea of shea butter but my body and my i cannot deal with um the shea butter at all so they hear this and they brought in carrot seed and it's a carrot seed body butter now how do we find out what's the exciting thing about carrot seed well one of the things i do know Carrot seed oil uh, is starting to get a really huge profile on some of the stuff. And this is how I research. I just go up to the search engine and do the thing. Um, great for vision. Amazing for your liver. And very, very powerful. This is probably, I don't even know if this will be in here. Go away. Um, you, you're going to find that the carrot seed butter has a huge sun protection factor of 40 plus. Natural. So that's very exciting. We have a few oils that are naturally sun protective and a few that do the opposite. So make sure that you don't use citrus outside. Very good for your liver, your kidney, and gallbladder health. So liver. What does liver mean emotionally? If you go to Louise Hay books, she'll be saying things like liver is anger and rage and grief and despair. 
This is the latent anger that stays in you. This is the anger that causes you immense stress and putting on weight. This is when your liver is overloaded. It has antioxidant activity with the liver. It speaks to the liver in a whole new way. So I'm going to go for the carrot seed body butter for sure. Vision protection. <laughs> Eat your carrots and it'll protect your eyes, said your mother, which actually doesn't happen. It's the carrot seed oil that is the benefit in that, not so much the carrots. Skin health, digestive support. Obviously, if something helps the liver, it's going to help your digestion automatically, which also means it will clear and help with brain fog. And all you're doing is making yourself beautiful and putting some carrot seed butter all over your body. I love the sound of this. I can't wait to get mine. So I am putting in an order on December 1st. The ancient oils. I have been in discussion with some of the diamonds and above and we are literally on our knees in gratitude for what is about to unfold. Galbanum, common myrtle, cystus, Okay, these are powerful ancient oils. Our ego generally tends to think, oh, that's old. And I cannot tell you, these oils need to be in every healer's kit. I have them right here. They're with me all the time. I don't use them as much as I should. I need to tell you, you're right here. Okay. I need to tell you that if somebody is extremely sick, these are oils that invite the well-being to return in a way that can't really be explained but is being researched at the moment. There are three specifically that I really love. Um, four that I really love. So we already know frankincense and we know mo. By the way, every December doTERRA give worldwide, they give away frankincense. I'm not saying they're going to do it this year because I never really know, but so far for seven years, that's what they've done. 200-point order automatically gives you a bottle of frankincense and you can do that order four separate times on your own account if you want. That sounds insane. I know people that have done this, so I haven't. <laughs> but if you're going to have a 400-point order, think clearly and split it and make two orders so that they're 200 and 200 and you get your oils that way. Some people in doTERRA who are only shoppers just buy up in December because they can get their year's worth of frankincense for orders. I want to tell you about these oils and I want to tell you about why they're so important. Common myrtle, incredible, incredible for um, your overall, um, as, a, as an overall tonic, um, helping with uh, menstrual issues, uh, fantastic for respiratory support. They're all actually really good for respiratory support. And there's, there is this constant theme, lungs, respiratory support, lungs, um, all so many different oils because everybody responds to oils in a different way. You've just got to remember that they're adaptive and we use them um, incredibly differently. When I was doing the research for the ancient oils presentation that I've done often, and I've got another one coming up at the end of this month, um, it's called Sacred Oils of the Bible. We're literally going to do a deep dive in each of these. But I haven't got a lot of time today, so I'm going to just run over the, the ones that I particularly love. Hyssop is for serious cough, serious chest complications, serious blood health. Um, hyssop is amazing. It's very medicinal, but incredibly soothing and um, enlightening. It's, it's, just a, it's just a very enlightening oil. I can't recommend the hyssop highly enough. You need that in your kick, but you also need, where did I put it, the cystus, so that's here. 
Now it's being sold at $101.33. This means any oil that's that expensive, as you can see, common myrtle, 32, but the cistus is 76. This is a low yield oil. This means that there's a lot of labor and not a lot of yield. It's not easy to extract. So the more uh, expensive the oil, you know, the process has been harder and harder to achieve. And this is just so beautiful. It brings tears to my eyes. It's very um, cleansing and refreshing. I'll just put this in my hand so you can see. And this is the oil that you would need when everything else has been tried, okay? I just put it on my heart and the back of my neck and on my wrist point because I want to wear it as perfume today. It, wow. <laughs> so when I smell, I see visions or I've always... And I see sand and desert and I saw this big rock formation and then my mind just went, wait a minute, oh, this is cystus and this is the desert rock rose. So the plant often speaks in uh, imagery. Obviously, God's gift to me is being able to see this way. Um, and that's what it is. So this is, this is the healer. This is the oil that you apply on someone's hands just with a hand massage or on their feet just to help bring them into restored calm because their mental health is more important than anything else um, as as the healer we move away from the need to make this work because it's all god's will everything happens by god's will and uh, Sisters reminds us of our role as healer, facilitator of God's work. It's And it's amazing. I've read some of the testimonies on Sisters and it's extraordinary. And seriously, I, I get goosebumps. All right, moving right along, you've obviously seen the koala diffuser. He's really cute. He sits about that high and his little belly glows and it's coming with karma, which is such a beautiful oil for kids in distress um, kids that have been separated, suffering loss, grief, and the whole nine yards. There are other oils here, Holiday Joy and Holiday Peace. I adore Holiday Peace. Holiday Joy is very beautiful as well, but Holiday Peace, is, that's, that's the one I love so much. We have a wonderful baking set coming, and that's on the 1st of December, and it's only 1950, which is extremely cool. And it comes with a little blend called Baker's Spice. I'm very excited because I have someone in my family who has decided that she wants to be a baker. Um, just from her heart, this is where this is where she can see that she wants to go, etc. And the Baker's Spice is a mix of all of the beautiful star anise, and ginger, um, cinnamon, all of the things that you would expect to bake with. I think it's really beautiful. We have these little limited edition cutouts, which is so cute. Um, I'm looking forward to the Gua Sha, and I'm definitely going to be buying this one for myself. The Gua Sha is a method. It's a Chinese method you may or may not have heard of, and it's incredibly good for beauty but also for lymphatic movement. So doTERRA isn't a vanity company. They're not about making us look good and filling us full. They're about ensuring that we have a healthy regimen that is going to support us, mind, body, and spirit. That's really what they're about. The Yarrow Palm Serum is next level protection, particularly dry skin, or if you're feeling chapped or cold, it's a it's incredibly healing. And lately, I've been using the Yarrow Palm at night um, over what I noticed was really my, my skin was really tightening. I'm 54, so nearly. So um, I was starting to notice more defined wrinkles than I'd seen before, just stress and all of the things. So I've started using the Yarrow Palm every single night. <laughs> my skin is transformed. I don't know if you can notice it, but I, I actually can see it on the video and I'm like, wow, I can feel it. I know that it feels different, but it looks incredibly different. It's also helped heal. You may remember I was 
wounded here from skin lesions that came from the protein um, spike. Um, I had them all over my body and the Yarra Pom, I put that on once a day and healed it up. Very, very good. It's got pomegranate seed oil in it. Um, it has um, uh, nutrition for the skin. It's a whole range Emily loves and it's called the nutraceuticals. So it's natural and it works to at a natural chemical level to transform and change your skin. Now, it doesn't stop at the skin. It goes straight into your endocrine system. It nourishes your liver, all of your organs. It supports your limbic system so that you respond better emotionally. And with our lifelong vitality pack and everything else, you soon have a holistic approach to your skincare, your regimen, which is helping shift your mood and emotions. And that's certainly been my experience this year. Absolutely beautiful. And that's available December 1st. Why have they been staggered? Mainly because um, shipping was a problem and they've just um, extended the dates out. It's the best, most sensible way that they could do it for us. Nighttime restful body oil. This will be beautiful. If you're in winter, my mum taught me this trick. My mum was, she was all about the grooming, all about um, looking after yourself. So I had that modelling from a very young age. Also had a little bit of toxic stuff that I had to reprogram myself out of because <laughs> some of that wasn't good. But the, the self-care aspect of looking after yourself was certainly a strong message that she had. Um, one of the things she taught me was if you want to go out at night in a really glamorous dress, but you can't really put a jumper on because it doesn't work, um, and the wrap, you've got one, but it's going to clash with the dress, etc. you cover your body in body oil and you don't feel cold. She used to do it all the time. So I don't know if that works or if she just numbed herself with alcohol. Could have been a thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, your passive diffusers haven't come yet, but I did a video yesterday and I'm going to put it on Instagram um, because it's the best format for that. And I love these passive diffusers. What is a passive diffuser? Well, it's just a rock that's in a bottle, so it's been shaped. Um, in this case, it's they've used clay, they've pressed it in a little gorgeous little O and the drop. It comes with a little sticky thing. So mine's going on the toilet. The first thing I thought of was, see, if I put that on the toilet, someone's going to knock that off and it's going to go in the bowl and then I'll throw it away. <laughs> um, but we don't have to worry because there's a little sticky thing underneath that it doesn't fall off. It's very, very cool. I said on the video, I don't know if it's gone up yet, but I said on the video that they had sold out in Australia. They haven't, but they nearly have. They're $12.50 and they are so cool. So if you have a neighbour, you have a Kris Kringle, you're at work, you have to give a stupid gift, you don't know what, what to give stupid people, this is amazing. They will get it. They will understand it. You can gift them a little sample, maybe a little sample trio of some of the oils that you like pop that inside and let them go crazy and let them come back to you and say, I want that. Um, the other thing I'm going to be going for is the personal aroma. Oh, my goodness. Okay, their perfumes, this is what they started last year and crowd went crazy. <laughs> so Emily Wright employs some proper real aromatherapists to come in and create a real perfume. I prefer essential oils over perfume any day. There is some natural preservative in the bottle. That I, it still, uh, still smells like perfume to me. But I love the scent, so I will wear it, but I just wear it sparingly. Mine's just about run out. It's gone. That's been gone for 12 months. If you're a real perfume addict, I used to be, um, I had, yeah, uh, name the label. I, I, was a, I was an absolute perfume queen. Um, if, you, if you're somebody who loves this, I'm going to say spend what you'd spend on a normal perfume. So if it was like 120 bucks, maybe get four of these to last you for the year because they run out really quickly um, if you lean on them too much. And then there's the matching hand lotion, and I love the packaging again. I think it's really beautiful. 
Um, you'll see on the video that I made, the boxes are so beautifully done and they feel nice and they look nice and you can repurpose them or use them as storage, um, put your little trinkets in, use them. They're sturdy enough to use as a, a jewellery box, actually. So um, I'm going to say to you, keep an eye out for those things. Christmas is uh, difficult a lot of the time um, and I think a lot of the time is we are, um, I can't download that. Uh, I have a way to get to that. Terra holiday. Now you see I'm on, why am I using YouTube? I'm doing it on purpose. Holiday guide 2021 PDF. That's what I want. Okay. Why am I using Google? Because most businesses are using Google and for me to be efficient, DuckDuckGo gets in the way. DuckDuckGo is great if I'm doing research on something I'm not supposed to know about. <laughs> um, it's business. I, I, I have no choice. I haven't got time to muck around and too busy. So this is your holiday guide, just going over all of the things nicely. Um, I really love this box. I really love the box. I don't know if it'll come into Australia, although we are allowed to get it. I'm going to show you a few things around the website as well. This is the Gua Sha using a gorgeous rose crystal. Um, I'm recently born again, as many of you know. So crystal for me, um, it's kind of like a no man's land. I was never a true believer in crystal being a healing thing. I always saw it as a bit of a facilitation. Let me explain. The, the quartz crystal that's used in computers, in watches and, and radios is obviously a tool that is able to be programmed, just like we can be programmed. And I believe that crystals, and I actually think that all life can be programmed to a, to a degree. I see crystals as um, decorative, no different to the crystals though they're probably synthetic, in fact they are, on my dress, okay, I love the sparkle and the bling and I love the light. To me, the light is God's gift and the crystals have the ability to work the light and sparkle that back out. So in case you see some of my stuff and you think, why is she putting crystals and stuff? Because I actually really love rocks. <laughs> I've loved rocks since I was little. I like rocks more than I like crystals and I collect, I have a huge collection of rocks as I was growing up. So um, that's the purpose, not because I believe that it aligns with a chakra and I'm dead against that uh, for my own well-being. And I don't think that they heal. Um, I, God heals. Uh, and I feel the same way about essential oils, okay? This, you'll speak me, uh, you'll hear me speak about praise. I don't like to talk about them as a person. He is a beautiful oil. She is a beautiful oil. It's just weird to me and inauthentic because it's not who I am. Um, and I don't like to um, create any level of idolatry with the oils, but I know that the chemical compounds and the constituents in the oils create a better human experience and allow us to align with our soul's song, which is God's gift, okay? And slowly the veil lifts and I can thank essential oils for my path. I can tell you that straight away. So the foodies, you've got the dark chocolate mini bars. They're probably going to sell out. They're at 75% sold out last night. So if you're going to get them, get in quick. And your little cookie cutters, I don't really bake. I know somebody who does, so she'll be getting those and I'll probably keep the biggest one. No, no, no. <laughs> I will buy two and she'll get four and I will keep one baker's spice and give one to her. I think that's the way I'm going to go. Um, the body butter, there it is, and the beautiful rest oil. So have to use those on a, um, how would you use both? You would rest in the bath, relax, rejuvenate. Or when you come out of the bath, before you hit the cool air in the US, if you want to, you're right there. He does that when he wants me to stop talking. Um, you want to rub that into all of your extremities. Um, very nice for your hands at night if you want to give you might see a lot of the time while I'm speaking I often give myself a hand massage it's just 
are incredibly soothing and that's doing things for my endocrine system. I'll teach you how to do that sometime, remind me. Um, that's important because it's a great way to connect with people. Uh, and of course we have the Hope Touch and the Rose Hand Lotion. All right, so these are incredibly beautiful gifts, 100% of the proceeds of the Rose Hand Lotion and the Hope go towards healing hands. The rose is from Bulgaria. So we have a commitment to our Bulgarian growers that we will always um, support them. And the money that's raised from the rose acquisition or purchases um, all goes to helping the women in Nepal who are facing all kind of cultural abuse from belief systems that don't work from them, from um, abuse from um, neighbouring tribes, from abuse from their own legislatory judiciaries. I can't say much more than that. Uh, they have been, these women have been subject to horrendous, horrendous abuse. So Emily Wright committed to Rose being 100% for our Nepalese women. And they harvest our wintergreen, which is just, it's just so beautiful. What do we use wintergreen for? Surrendering. <laughs> Surrender to God. Surrender to God's message. Um, and the hope, the hope essential oil, 100%, that's $26 here, $20 there. Oh, they're both 20 Okay, that's nice. Um, the, the hope oil is a magnificent gift that keeps on giving. This is the oil that we gift children who have been in the rehabilitation centres at doTERRA back and support. Um, we have rehabilitation specialists. It's not doTERRA. They work in, in um, partnership with um, Choice Humanitarian and some uh, non-government programs and doTERRA partners with them. This hope oil has turned around the lives of thousands and thousands of people. You don't hear us speak about it much. And the reason you don't is because legally it's impossible. It's also incredibly divisive. doTERRA just want this to be the thing that we do to support and help. So what you can do is every loyalty rewards order, you're going to get your points, you're going to get your shipping back if it's a loyalty rewards order. Every loyalty rewards order goes towards um, you getting your free points. And if you put your hope and your rose on, you know, each month you're giving this to doTERRA and they are 100% honestly doing and supporting the work that needs to be done in a way that is respectful, honouring and with integrity in heart. They are having great turnarounds. So can't recommend that highly enough. You can do that in Australia. In a, so the hope and the rose hand lotion go towards healing hands globally. So if you're in Nova Scotia or if you're in France, Paris, Nantes, the same system applies, but it's distributed locally if there isn't um, a program that's dedicated, they'll use the money for the Nepalese women, okay, just to make that clear. I know there's some programs that they've got their eyes on here in Australia. All right, so I'll stop the share and I'll come back to the YouTube. Um, Carrot is an SBF of 40, correct. Anybody having any questions or if you have seen this for the first time and you're thinking, my goodness, uh, is this something that I, I would love and I would want to know more about? Certainly get in touch with the person who introduced you to doTERRA and if you don't know that person, then you're more than welcome to come and join with me. Um, lots of exciting things that are coming in. These gifts are incredibly conscious, clear and authentic gifts of the heart. doTERRA put an entire program together that makes sure that it's beneficial for everybody. So I hope that you really enjoy that as well. So much love. It's been fun to be here. Certainly um, shoot me a message if there's anything that I can help you with, anything I can support you with. I look forward to catching up with you really soon. Take care.